You have common sense if you notice there's a world around you not. If you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do, there is only one thing that I know is true about existence. You may think that it's common, it's not so common sense that we're dealing with. Oh, hello there. Hi! Oh my goodness, it has been... 78 years since we've been on here, guys. <laughs> Episode 14 of Season 2, coming at you live. I am Jalopy, and as always, here with the lovely Skylo22. How you guys doing? Good to see y'all. Sky, you made yeah. it through your surgery. You're alive. I'm alive! I am glad you made it through. It was touch and go there for a while. Not with the surgery. You just were... Um, you were just uh, scared, I think. <laughs> and you just thought you were going to die. I mean, I think I'm going to die every day. Right. Which makes life that much more enjoyable for me because once I yeah, push that path in my head. Enjoyable. That I sounds know. It sounds it, it sounds insane. But, like, think about it. Like, if you think you're going to die, you're like, all right, well, I'm just going to enjoy this day and live it as if it is my last day. I mean, yeah. obviously, with certain extents, like, don't go fucking crazy and do some stupid shit. Be mindful. But, like, you I mean, know, why, I just though? try... Because I don't know, just in case you never know. Yeah. I'm 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 a person that's always teetering on the fence. I'm either I'm like in and out, in and out all day, every day. It's yeah. it's a lot to take on. But moving on, moving on, surgery's done, and I'm alive, you and here alive. I am. Congratulations! I am proud of you Thank for you. for taking that was a big life changing surgery. Yeah, um, it's night and day, dude. It's night and day from literally before the surgery to the day after minus obviously surgery pains but like my whole life has completely like there are so many things that i've been doing wrong my whole entire life that is like terrifying that i was just like wow i was fucked up for a very long time yeah and it was just it's 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 eye opening to see certain things like for example i know this is going to sound crazy my doctor looked at me like i had three fucking heads but i had told him i was like listen i'm like the biggest change that i've noticed starting the spring i was getting bitten by mosquitoes in oh, spring God, mosquito on long island story. listen listen i don't care i googled it i looked it up there's scientific fact that proves all of this that it, it continues on but like there's a lot of different studies about like the mosquitoes that i have yet to be bit by a mosquito since after the surgery i have not gotten a single bite and for me i have to wear multiple layers during the summer because of it so it was just little stupid shit like that where it's just like okay this cannot be a coincidence there is no way that this is like, like this has to be something that's correlated in one way shape or form which it is but there's a lot of stuff that's been like that that's been going on and i'm just happy that it's done i'm 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 waiting and ready and i'm ready for my doctor to be like all right bed rest is done now you can go do stuff because i can't even fucking drive right now i feel like i can i feel like i can run a fucking marathon right now give me an iron man let me go at it I, I but according tell. to them i know <laughs> i'm just like blah, blah. um <laughs> they <laughs> i haven't spoken this entire podcast yet <laughs> It's been three weeks we're, that I have not we're been 15 here. I have three minutes weeks. in and I haven't even spoken. <laughs> I have three weeks of story. I telling. still want to say hello to all the people out there that are watching. We see you in no. the live chat. Appreciate you guys being here before I address Skylo's insanity. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here in the live chat. If you're listening to us uh, on the podcast, much love to you as well. Uh, we have missed you guys. It's been a few weeks. Uh, if you're listening to us while you're driving down the road, look out. There's a bird. Be safe out there, guys. We hope we're making your commute, whether it's to work, to the grocery store, to the gym, to your dreaded exes to pick up your child. We hope it's a better uh, experience because we're along with you. But thank you guys so much for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, we did have a couple uh, 
couple weeks off because of Sky's surgery. I don't know if you know uh, or not, but she had surgery. Uh, mm-hmm. And you had a, a total hysterectomy done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Um, Pretty much. Because her... Uh, I, I don't know the technical term, but I think her vagina was trying to kill her. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically, that's 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 you hit the uh, nail right on the head. I no. had um, severe endometriosis, adenomyosis, and interstitial cystitis. I'm probably saying that last one wrong, and I know I probably said a whole bunch of stuff that you're probably going, "What?" <laughs> I'm just like trying to find the knob to turn you from 200 percent to 100 percent on the speed of your talking because I'm having trouble keeping up. Maybe it's just me. I haven't had my coffee in me yet. Uh, <laughs> I had my coffee fucking hours ago. It sounds this like is... you are having it injected into your veins as we speak. <laughs> I love the energy though. No, okay, I keep it up. I like the energy. We we need the energy here. Uh yeah. Cause I'm just a I'm a zombie half the time. So uh no, but we are happy that you're here. We're happy you made it through and you're recovering good. Yeah, very well. Super well, that's duper. Good. That's Fantastical. Good. You had to do the whole like liquid diet for a while. How was that? Oh my god, that was um, hmm. it was rough. Honestly, it really was rough. Um, I'm glad that I bought all the protein shakes that I did because mm. it made it a little bit more enjoyable to do that. Um, and I'm I'm a huge smoothie person. I mean, honestly, like I just missed food so much. Mm-hmm. I miss the crunch of bread and stuff like I'm I'm a very like I'm a sen- I'm a sensual person when it comes wait, to Wait, wait, what kind of bread are you eating that has a crunch to it? French bread, Italian bread. But, I mean I you just say bread. You just say the crunch of and I bread is literally the bottom of the list of things I think of <laughs> as far as food goes. See, like, I'm bougie. I thought you were gonna be like, you... I miss the crunch of Captain Crunch. <laughs> Listen, sir. <laughs> when I get bread, it's not just buns or like Wonder Bread. I get legitimate loaves that have that crust all over it, and then the soft inside. I'm okay. bougie. That's fair. Okay. That's fair, sir. I, uh, sir. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I eat Wonder Bread. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I haven't had Wonder Bread since I was like five. Yeah. It used to be called and something I, different where I grew up in Ohio. It wasn't one. It was the same, same company, same bread, but it was it like had a different name in the Midwest. And regular bread. Yeah, that's what we would call it as kids. <laughs> I'd be like, "Oh yeah, we need some regular bread." <laughs> you know, um, I cannot. It wasn't Wonder Bread though. It was. Oh man, I cannot think of it, and that's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to Google that. We're going to have to come back to it at the end of yeah. the, the show. It's going to we'll, hit we'll them right at, at Yeah, our... like, I'll be saying goodbye, and I'll just start, I'll scream it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you to everybody here in the, the live chat. We appreciate you being here. Uh, we have a good show for you, because obviously it's been a couple weeks. Uh, yeah. I wasn't sure exactly when we would return, because I didn't, for one, know if Sky uh, would be alive. Uh, and <laughs> I feel like it would be hard to to find a replacement uh, <laughs> co-host. It would just that be me sitting here, just be <laughs> me sitting here talking to these these empty clouds over here. Uh, My backup, singers. which is fine. Yeah, your backup singers you have here. Uh, but also, I didn't know how long the recovery process because it's different for everything. You know, you never know how yeah. it'd be. And I did the stomach thing and uh surgery thing so like are are, we have matching scars now right i think is what is what we discovered we We said we because they did the the laparoscopic thing and i think to do that they do like the same thing on everybody it's like these like four or five little scars right around your stomach Mm -hmm. little incisions around your stomach so uh (laughs) that's fun Twins now <laughs> brought our, brought our friendship to a whole new level. Yeah, that's right. Now, when anytime we see each other, we just belly bump and we get superpowers. <laughs> Under twins activate. I have to. 
I have to get down on the, my knees to do it, but <laughs> I'll bring a stool. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, we're we're glad you're here, and our show we have lined up today is a is a good one, and it's it's good to be back. I feel like really taking that much time off. Uh, normally, when you come back to something after that long, it takes a little while to kind of feel like it's normal. I feel like we haven't missed a beat, though. I feel like we just have been doing this nonstop. And I maybe mean, it's because it's me and you. Been. Yeah, like we we kind of we we always be talking about all this stuff, and we've been coming up with brand new topics that we're mm-hmm. gonna be brand new segments and stuff like that. That we're the works, <laughs> the stuff that we have going big on plans. We have big plans for this podcast moving forward, and and I'm really excited, and we hope you guys are too. We're gonna be doing a lot of. Uh, um, kind of, but I, I guess I'm an actor, so I immediately call it behind the scenes, but, um, kind of a, what would you call it, Sky? We're going to be hanging out and just more of a one-on-one Q&A type thing with, with all of the, mm-hmm. uh, the, the loyal personal. room readers out there that we have, uh, that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can actually come in and do live, uh, see live shows where we're sitting here doing Q&As and talking and watching videos, uh funny videos online and, and, you know, common sense lacking videos and much more things. But uh, you'll be able to talk to us and ask us questions and maybe some stuff we talk about will end up making it into the podcast. Uh, these are will only be available for you to watch live. They will not be anywhere else other than here on Twitch. Not so underscore common sense uh, on twitch.tv. And um, they will not be put up on the podcast or anything like that. So if you are interested, you're somebody that only listens to us on a podcast on your phone, wherever, computer, definitely check it out. We'll be sure to let you know on our social media when that's going to happen and when you should show up for it. And we're planning on doing that more than than once. We're going. We we have a lot of things planned. So I'm excited for the future of Not So Common Sense guys. And without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you, and a big shout out to our sponsors that are still here with us. You see them scrolling on our screen the entire show so um they're staying loyal to us as we want to stay loyal to them sky what else has been going on in your life oh my gosh my kid um he's done with school so that's fun um i've been trying to find a job still i did go on an interview just recently uh for a work at home job with his which customer service agent it's very simple um but other than that yeah nothing it's just literally been me lounging i i think i have all of this energy because all i do is lounge around right. the house well now. in recovery what can you do you know you yeah. just sit around and go stir and I'm crazy just, i know i'm not that kind of person like even if i don't leave the house i'm still somebody who's just like up sky, and moving and sky has been like a little bottle rocket waiting for this show to come up <laughs> on and once it did she just shot out of it just full steam ahead <laughs> To tell us everything at maximum speed. <laughs> <laughs> She's just been sitting in there, just just that wick has just stewing. been burning. <laughs> it's just been stewing for almost three weeks, dude. <laughs> it has been it's been hard. I don't. I'm good. Clunky, <laughs> clunky. Like, uh, um, it's fine. It's fine. Um. So what else? Um. What else is happening Dude, with your kid now? Then? Okay, well, um, he's being a kid. He wants an he wants a an allowance now. He's six. He came up to me. He was just like, "Mom, I want to do chores around the house." At first, and I was just like, "All right, what kind of chores do you want to do?" Like, this is a fucking weird like statement from a six year old, but cool. And he goes, "Yeah, I want to do chores for money." And I was like, "Ah, uh, ah, uh, there's the catch." There's well, the cat. You, you thought he wanted to do it for free? Of course he doesn't. Yes. I was like, I'm like, kid, you gotta, you gotta lead this a little bit different. I gotta teach him the ways of the the haggling and how to business, how to be a little bit smarter with business. So I said, okay, you know what? This is fine. He had like this giant jug, um, filled with like coins and money and all this stuff that we he's gotten over the years so far. Um, and he's just put it away, put it away. So I said this to him. I said, okay, we're going to separate all of the money that's in here because he has his little wallet. I said, I'm going to put the coins in there and then you're going to have the the bills for whatever you want. He had over like 
probably close to like six hundred dollars in there <laughs> so Dang. far. So basically a hundred dollars a year <laughs> since he was That's born. Better than me, man. Uh, <laughs> give or take so i gave him like a good chunk of it and i said this is for you to spend wisely for this month and at the end of the month we're gonna see how you did um save your receipts and stuff like that and then i said the rest of it i'm gonna hold on to it and i'm gonna put it away and if you want to do chores for it because you want some of that money we'll do that so it's an even exchange i don't gotta spend money out of my pocket he's got his own money he thinks it's a great idea whatever there you go <laughs> the smart so, so, far, so you're basically been, his bank basically yeah i'm his bank every time he does his his debit card is every time he does something good he gets money from the bank six i was still discovering my wiener at six I... <laughs> six years old and he's just he's loving it <clears throat> loving it living i mean life. to be fair <laughs> i am 34 and i'm still discovering my wiener it's it's <laughs> fine but uh well that's good i'm glad that he's he's maturing into a yeah smart young man yeah uh, he's, he's doing all right he's yeah good. not much has been going on with me uh i just when we ended the show a few weeks ago uh i have just sat here silently and waited for the next show to start <laughs> this uh, is true he has not moved from that spot yeah uh should probably shower soon maybe try to stand up and stretch my legs uh, <laughs> but i don't i've just sat here and waited no uh i i've been uh back on the uh exercise grind trying to get back in shape Ooh, i'm so jealous uh, i used to be in really good shape when i was in my early 20s late teens early 20s uh which you didn't really have to even try but i actually tried back then as well so uh now that it i'm helps. in my 30s and i'm not trying it's like double trouble <laughs> you know so uh i figured i'd try again and try and i am feeling better i'm definitely feeling better i recommend it out there guys i know everybody says that do it it'll change your life you'll feel so much better i'm not gonna be that overly positive guy and act like it listen it sucks sometimes sometimes it yep. sucks you don't have the energy you don't feel like doing it but i'm telling you just do a half a workout on the days that you don't have the energy you'll still feel better about doing something uh, Honestly, even even if you are, and this is this is gonna be like the ultimate lazy thing. But like, even if you're like, I just want to sit down and watch like a show or something. Go get some of those like little arm bands and just do some arm workouts or one of those little yeah. foot pedals and just sit there and watch TV and just relax. Just get that blood flowing, and you'll you'll be so much happier. And you'll catch yourself once you start doing stuff. You'll catch yourself wanting to do more and more because then you're like, man, I don't want to. I don't want to waste this now. I kind of want to keep mm -hmm. going. I want to get these gains. And yeah. uh, that's what's happening to me. And I, I'm loving it. It's uh, I, I'm feeling better already. So, I'm, so I'm excited about it. You're you're going to be uh, you're going to be doing that, right? You're going to be kind of having a whole fitness journey. A whole fitness journey. Yeah. So right now I'm still waiting for the doctor to clear me. Um, August 3rd, I believe, is going to be the next time I go and see him. Um, until then, I can't lift more than 20 pounds. I'm not supposed to. Mm. Um, and obviously not like working out lifting, but just like to lift up. Um, so I can't like drive things like that. Nothing that engages my core, mm -hmm. basically, um, until then, because everything has to rebuild and stuff. And again, I feel amazing i feel great but i don't know what's going on inside of me so i'm doing my best to stay as patient as possible i have been doing like light arm exercises and stuff in bed when i'm laying down and like leg stuff so i have been kind of doing things nothing that engages my core too much mm -hmm. and it's been like super light super low impact well i'm not a doctor something. but i'll take a look uh if you need me to and uh <laughs> We'll, we'll, uh, I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, and uh, I think that's all. That's an old commercial reference for all you youngins out there that don't get it. Uh, but uh, yeah, should we start the show before I just say stupid stuff? Yes. More yes, stupid should. stuff, I should say. Um, <laughs> big news happening uh, out in the world. And outside of the world right now, mm -hmm. up in the space area of the 
existence. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it? wanting to say the world, but it's not the world. It's uh, it's the James Webb telescope camera thingy. I don't, I don't know what it's called exactly, but uh, they've released some new images, and oh my god, have you guys seen these? It's they incredible. are unreal. Incredible. They are the most beautiful pictures I've ever seen, I think. You know what's crazy about these pictures is that you've seen Avengers, I'm assuming, correct? Yes. When they're in space, especially with Guardians of the Galaxy, when they're in space, this is basically what they it looks like almost. It, it's a little bit denser, mm -hmm. but this is pretty much that. And it's to me, it's just wild. It's just like we have this much of an understanding of what is out there before it's even out there. I saw a really funny meme about it that was... It had a picture of, <laughs> of, of I know. one of those pictures, and then it had a picture of a, a security camera on a building of a guy standing there, and you couldn't even make out his face. And it was like millions of light years away, ten feet away here on Earth, <laughs> and the the quality of the one of the stars was so much better. And it's like that's a very true. It's funny, but it's very true. It's like why are why are we dealing with this terrible stuff right now when we have the technology to make <laughs> things that can that can see this far away? It's crazy to me. Priorities, man. Priorities. I guess. Did you see what are the they other trying one? to see out there, though? Out in space? There are other life. Oh. Places for us to go. Well, they're going to do, what though. Okay, we say we look in at a star somewhere, a planet, mm -hmm. and we just see all these other human-like things just running around, driving cars. They're flying around on their little airplanes and and doing all, what are we gonna do? <laughs> are we gonna contact them? Like Oh uh, they're, yeah, they're gonna contact them for sure and they're gonna say hello and see. But we're if like friendly. millions of light years away. Oh. I don't think we can. I don't think we can get there. Alliances. What do you mean? How do you get there? I mean we wouldn't need to get there. We would just need to send a transmission of like but why a message why not but, but why <laughs> why not i don't know maybe they have answers for things that we don't maybe they've discovered a cure for all cancers That's true. maybe they figured out how to keep dogs alive forever maybe yeah we need to contact them immediately guys i I'm never thought you. about that we need to contact See? them immediately. <laughs> well, I was just asking why. I didn't I didn't have any logical reasons why. Uh but yeah, they're the really right cool. I think you guys should definitely check them out if you haven't. They are uh They're breathtaking. They, they are breathtaking. You can just Google James Webb Telescope James Webb James Webb Telescope. My goodness. You're right there? I don't know if I am or not. Uh <laughs> but uh it's really really cool and uh beautiful and they've released a few pictures now i think they've got close to 10 pictures they've re released now and every one of them are breathtaking they, they compared them i saw a tiktok where they compared them to the ones from the hubble telescope yeah from years nuts. ago and it's like not it's literally night and day it's the Hubble telescope, you you would think, oh man, you're not gonna get a better picture than that. But then you see these, and you're like, holy crap! <laughs> we're not gonna crazy. get a better picture of that yeah. in another twenty years. We're yeah. gonna be like, oh shit! Oh my god, we're <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel the gases through uh, this photo. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Smell now dating dying. an alien. <laughs> I'm going to get some Don't kind die. of weird disease, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> but speaking of diseases, there's a uh, a, a new a rise in monkeypox. Right? Yeah, and it's it's been going crazy. So apparently in New York, it's actually really starting to grow. Um, uh, CDC expects monkeypox outbreak to grow as total cases surpass. 1400 and vaccine demand outstrips supply it is across 44 states now um it's going up 
it's what going even up. is monkey pox? Is that like another form of chicken pox? I think so. Apparently, it's extremely painful. Um, there's like lesions isn't that a, and stuff isn't on that you. like a, a, an issue from like the 1700s or something? Like the plague? Like we we <laughs> don't we have like can't you just like no. take a drink of water and pop a pill and you're good with that now? Like how is that a, still a thing right now? I thought we I were past like- that stuff. I feel like um, I feel like a lot of people who are getting um, affected are people who are uh, probably haven't been vaccinated, maybe. Mm, maybe. Um, or maybe it's just a different strain, and their bodies are just you know it's been a while. Yeah, it could a lot be. of people, <laughs> you know, haven't. There's there's so many different things. You know, our bodies are all different. You never know what could happen. I mean, look, I got vaccinated for COVID and I still got sick. So, I mean, like, you know, shit happens. Like (laughs) That is true. Uh, I don't know. I had chicken pox. I remember, I think it was on my birthday when I was a kid. So, uh, we had a big birthday party planned. Everybody still came over and they all went swimming out in my pool out back and I just sat inside. That is so sad. Wasn't it so sad? You know what? Now that I think about it, though, now that I'm an adult, I think there were a couple p- couple of kids that stayed inside. I think maybe their parents were trying to get them chicken pox. Oh, a thousand percent. That's how I got chicken pox. My mother tells me this all the time. It's kind She's of like, the minute my up, brother. But had that was it. like a big thing in the '90s. They would have chicken pox parties. Oh, you still do the same I don't know that, thing now? I don't know that. I'm not saying my parents did that. I'm just saying I know people that that <laughs> did, there were people that did that because like they would have if one kid would have the chicken pox, they'd all bring them all over and have them hang out and play together and hope that they all got it so that way they could get it and get it over with, basically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, because if you basically. get it when you're an adult, it can kill you. Yeah, it's a lot worse. It's definitely a lot worse for you. But now also people who have had chicken pox when they were younger also have a chance of getting shingles when they're older. Like there's a whole bunch of, there's a lot of give or take. Well, I worked, on, I did roofing for about eight years. So I've had shingles on my shoulders. Uh, I've sir. carried them on my head. I've I've had to carry them. I'm going to need arms. To, I quit. I'm done. Oh. <laughs> I just... uh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I got some I got some hard hitting news to share with you though. Yeah, what's that? Kraft macaroni and cheese, you know. Uh huh. You know uh-huh. the Kraft macaroni and cheese. Yeah. That we all know and love, growing up. Uh huh. As children yeah. and adults. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, they're changing their name. What? No way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? They're why? Changing their name. Why? This what is are, important you... news right now. Okay, we got people out there dying of COVID, but let's change the Kraft macaroni and cheese name because it's it's a problem. It's a whole problem. It's a problem. It's taking up too much time of our life. Saying Kraft macaroni and cheese, <laughs> so they've decided you know... to change it. And they've changed it to Kraft Mac and Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No more Aroni. Aroni is gone. It's out. There's no Aroni. Fuck the Aroni. No Aroni. You think it's because no. it sounds like Rona? <laughs> Maybe. And it's like, oh, ew. <laughs> Kraft macarona <laughs> and cheese is gross. Ew. That wouldn't no, you surprise know, me at all. It wouldn't either. But apparently they're saying that they're trying to rebrand it more as comfort food. They also changed like the whole box and everything, the whole look of it. But they're saying that they're trying to keep the distinction um, to help people uh, differentiate from healthier products That is that is taking up shelf space. It's all right, I guess. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't follow the concept behind it. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, ours isn't as super healthy because other people's box macaroni and cheese has, like, protein, proteins and fibers and is made with healthy... But, which is weird to me because I literally have a cauliflower, cauliflower pasta mac and cheese upstairs. That's crap. So, I don't know. I think it's just a gimmick. Yeah, I do want to try. 
I do want to try their thick and creamy version, though. I didn't of know they had something do. thick and creamy. So yeah, there's that's, that. That's your forte. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, they're they're changing it. No more aroni, and I am complete. I've I've never felt anything less about anything than this. <laughs> than this news, I've never. <laughs> I've never cared any less about anything than Kraft Macaroni and Cheese changing their name to Kraft Mac and Cheese. This affects my life in 0% way. Like, uh, I just, I just, I, just, I mean, I guess it's going to save a little bit of time on the production line, too. Since they don't have to add the extra letters. It's <laughs> on the box. I know, you're reaching now. You are fishing <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> You're, you're you're reaching. I just can't. I'm just. I just can't. We just don't know much about why they're doing it. I guess other than that, and uh, they're releasing in August. There's that. Yeah. Now, uh, something I feel like we do know a little bit about uh, is our next segment, and we like to do a segment here called Awkward Asylum. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's really awkward. And it's super awkward. Uh, that's where we pick a topic that is an awkward conversation to have with people. But it's Skylo and myself. And as you know, we will talk about anything. <laughs> we have no shame. And, and But we can do it as adults because we are room readers. Just like you guys out there, we do have the little bit of common sense that's out there. And we can see things objectively and see things uh, unbiasedly and see things for what they are and take away the stigma and take away the the uh the awkwardness from them mm -hmm, uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but some things are just always going to be awkward for the human race just always will i don't see the, this one changing anytime soon uh <laughs> what's this what's this week's awkward subject matter skyla <laughs> This week's subject is sexy talk, bedroom talk. You know, mm. him give me that sugar. Please never say that <laughs> to anybody <laughs> ever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bedroom talk, talk during adult time. Now we got your attention. Even Our viewership just went up immediately as soon as I said that. <laughs> I mean, even not only that, but like even like when you're, let's say you and your partner are taking some time apart because they have a business trip or they're just away, blah, 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 blah. You're just taking your me time, whatever. Over the phone, having that like the little sexy talk because you miss them. I feel like people just, they get so like weirded out by awkward. it. Like they get awkward with it. Yeah. And, uh, and it's I like, wonder why. It's it's I feel like it's a lack of confidence. Maybe maybe they don't feel sexy. Mm. So if they don't feel it, then it's it's an insecurity. You know, it's hard to. I will what have you to think. say, I will have to say that kind of talk does come out more in my my um, past sexual escapades. Uh, that kind of talk does come out more when it's a better. When when it's a good time when you when 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 you're clicking when you've got that chemistry mm -hmm. going on, um, so I think people feel sexier during those times, uh, mm -hmm. so that talk mm -hmm. comes out a little more. So I think you might be onto something. I think it's if you feel sexier, that talk you have that more confidence to to talk like that, and exactly. try and try and so, to bring your partner into the moment with you. Exactly. And I kind of feel like, especially people who do it over the phone, it's a little bit harder because they're not there with you. Um, which again, I totally recommend getting some toys for the couple as a whole. There's so many different things that you guys can totally well, get. Well, in today's world, you can just FaceTime. You know what I mean? Like, that's not even... A... Yeah, but even with that, like, it's it's kind of hard to... To Obviously. still say the things, you know, now you're looking at the person in like this weird digital matter and then you're trying to be like, oh, yeah, spank me, baby. Like, it's kind of like, oh, what? I just, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, um, I've always kind of went back and forth on it, um, when it's being 
said to me. I guess it depends on what's being said. There's definitely been things said to me that I'm just like, Oh, don't say that. Please don't ever do that again. (laughs) But you have to act like it's like attractive in the moment, you know? You have to kind of go with it in the moment. And yeah. But like, there's times where I'm just like, oh, that really doesn't do it. Don't say or do that. (laughs) Yeah. Like that whole, the whole daddy thing. I had somebody actually say that to me, was just like, can you please call me that? And I was just like, no. I was like, we're stopping right now. Like, I, that just, that for me, that's a mood killer, personally. Yeah. But again, like, th- these are things that if you're with somebody, then you, you talk about these kinds of things. If you're doing a random hookup, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, just either do, do what it is or don't do what it is. Like, you just make your choice. But it's a random hookup and they ain't going to mean a fucking thing. So. Well, that's what I was going to say. It depends on, on if you're, because you know me, I don't do relationships but I am human. Mm -hmm. I have needs. I will Mm -hmm. go on dates. I will have rendezvous with, with, uh, with these, these women sometimes. And, and I, I personally, there's, there's no like deep connection there. And it's, it's different than, cause I've had that deep connection in the past and it's definitely different. I think with Mm -hmm. the, the, I think you can be a little more risque, I think, maybe with mm-hmm. with somebody that you're probably not going to see again, maybe. Oh, um, yeah, definitely. Because there's no shame at that point. You're like, I'm right. going to lose this number, not going to talk to him anymore. And just I've done God knows what with people I've never saw again. Shit that I probably would have never done to begin with. And I was just like, um, well, this was a fun night. That was a great experience. On yeah. to the next one. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> um. But I think if you're just up front with people and let them mm-hmm. know that that's all it's going to be and stuff, then it kind of makes it a little more relaxed, right? You can you can both be like, okay, this is just a, probably a one-time thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to mm-hmm. be a little, I'm going to let my freak flag fly, as they say. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and sometimes you don't know. <laughs> sometimes you don't know what you're into or you're not into until it happens. Exactly. I have learned so much in my sex debates of what I'm into and what I'm not into. And I'm the longest time, especially when it comes to that, I I haven't been upfront and forthcoming about like when we're in the moment and I want them to change their position because a lot of the time I could see that they're just like really into it. And like now being older, I'm just like, I really wish I did because I've literally just wasted countless minutes. Um, sometimes, um, on these days, countless five seconds here and there, countless, you know, <laughs> fucking millisecond here and there just pants already down. He already came. It's a mess. This is a disaster. Nice. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> Hide your kids, I folks. I missed you guys. Good Lord. <laughs> but like, yeah, I like now that I'm older, I I can say that I'm more comfortable being upfront and honest with like, all right, I don't like this and I do like this. I don't like this. These are the reasons why. And you're either gonna like chill and vibe with it, or you're not. And if they don't, that's okay. There's other people that may. There mm-hmm. are people like so many different things. For me personally, sexy talk, I'm. I can do without it. It's 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 either an in the moment thing. If you want me to say your name, I'll say your name. But it's there's just certain things that I'm just like, no, 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 sh- shut up. Let I'm me let me tell you the the <laughs> here's the tr- here's the kicker for all of it. If it's forced and it's not genuinely just yeah. something that comes out naturally in the moment, yep. Then I don't want it. Yep. Right. You. It's I. It's. Because we've all seen porn when they're when they're you can tell when they're like looking at the camera and trying to put on a show and stuff that to mm-hmm. me personally, that is not attractive at all. And I me would same. feel like a I was being patronized if I were the guy in that video and the girl mm-hmm. is putting on this show. I would feel like all right. you hear them. Go, oh, yeah. yeah, that. Yeah. Then it's just uh, it's like just, making stop. the faces and, and yeah. yeah. The tongue, like stop, yeah. just stop. Just... That's... Amateur. I I will say this to this day. I like amateur porn way better than fucking scripted porn nowadays. I really need to direct one. Yeah. Well, that's your calling. <laughs> if you're looking for a job, 
Anybody uh, <laughs> out there that's a producer needs a porn director, hit up Skylo. She's she's your uh, <laughs> freaky little cloud here. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's my go to uh, room readers out there. If you're listening, let us know what is some funny or weird uh, sexy talk that has happened to you in the bedroom or back of your car or the burger king bathroom wherever it may have been uh <laughs> let us know if there's been any funny weird things that have been said to you that just kind of just threw you for a loop uh because we we love to hear all y'all's experiences as well it's 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 just funny you know uh and also let us know what you like too let us know what you like and what you don't like because uh i may use some of them in the future you never know um uh, <laughs> is there anything else though hopefully we made it a little less awkward for you guys, though, moving forward. Maybe you can kind of just be more open, communicate with the, your partner at the time. Mm -hmm. Communication and goes a long way. I mean, really one does. guy one guy actually asked me to roar like a lioness once. So that was great. <laughs> that was, I was like, roar. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> so you know rawr. <laughs> I, rawr. I, I, didn't, rawr. I didn't know what to say when he, it was just so awkward he was it was all just it was really weird was at the this time. steve Irwin? were you having an affair <laughs> no oh my god no okay the rest is pretty little heart i know Bless i miss soul. him Me too. um Okay, well, that's good to know. I um, <laughs> can't say that I've had that experience ever. <laughs> um, I don't even know the thought process behind it. But listen, we don't judge here to each their own. If that's what that person liked, that's what that person liked. Just at least they mm -hmm. were open about it and communicated it with, with you. And if it's not what you're into, it's not what you're into. That's fine. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, you, you, you just got to be... You just gotta communicate, guys. That's what it comes down to. Common sense says it right here on the on our on our screen. Common sense. Mm -hmm. You just gotta have it. Uh which a lot of people don't have in our next and that's why our next segment exists. Uh our next segment is called Natural Selection. <laughs> where we um we tell you about some warning labels that have been made for items and there's a reason that these warning labels have been made for these items and it <laughs> makes me want to crawl into bed in a hole and never, get out. And never leave uh, after I read that some of these warning labels had to be put on these products because people use these products in the incorrect way the first one no small children. The product? <laughs> it's a laundromat washer. I've got a couple questions here. <laughs> um, <laughs> first off, are, are larger children okay? <laughs> yes. This says yes, no yes. small children. You see, the larger children Maybe you children gave birth to a little, a little plumpster. <laughs> uh, you know, the little Michelin man looking babies. We've all seen them. Are they better? Are they okay? Are they laundromat washer safe? Why is it small yes. children? Why just no human? Why not just no human? No person? What if it's I was going to say, I'm like, I'm really small. Like, the fucking kids in kindergarten are a little bit bigger than me. Like, I, what about me? Can I go in there? Um, I don't think so. I don't know, though. It doesn't say that you can't. But this no, is, this had child. to be, this had to be put on a washer at a public laundromat. No small children. There's a reason that this had to be put on that washer. Somebody tried to wash their kids. They took the whole, like, mouth with soap to a whole new level. Said, bitch, I'm putting you in the goddamn washer. You fucking running around here acting a fool? No. Yeah. Put that soap down. Crazy. You're going in the washer. <laughs> like, 
the hell? It's crazy <laughs> out there. Like, it's a crazy world we live in. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. Could you imagine if, like, this little kid was trying to help their mom, like, put, like, the stuff in? But it was, <laughs> he just, like, boop, a lot of stuff. Just grabbed just, him by the belt just, buckle, by the belt loop, and, and just, just tossed just him in. Threw him in by accident. Like, just not even just, oh, it's just another pile of clothes. Man, this is a heavy load of jeans here, right? <laughs> <laughs> just threw it. Oh my God. I would be, oh my God. That would be horrible. <laughs> I feel like you would have to notice that before you started the washer, right? When he's at the little know. window pounding on it, like, hey. <laughs> I mean, that's it, the laundry is heavy, dude. Yeah. Like, when you're, if you're in there and there's like a bunch of clothes and you're a small child, that's why you can't be a small child because they're too weak yeah. under the pounds of clothes that are in there. <laughs> I guess so. Just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's uh, scary, but it had to be put on there. I'm going to have to go now to a laundromat and just look and see if they have this warning <laughs> at all laundromats. Yeah. Or if it was yeah. this specific laundromat washer. Just the one washer. All the other washers are fine. This washer, no. It's unsafe. <laughs> uh, what else, Sky? <laughs> Speaking I of washing... <laughs> I was gonna say, speaking of washing, this next product use like regular soap product. A bar of soap. <laughs> There's so what? many problems here. So many questions. What do you? I just. First what of else all, would you? When you have to put in the same word of the product. <laughs> In the warning label, that's your first mistake right there. There's your first problem. Use like regular soap on a bar of soap. That's like, I feel like the intern just went up to the to the soap master or whatever they call the guy that runs the soap <laughs> place and uh, was like, what do you want as the warning label on here? He's like, I don't know, just use it like regular soap. And... That's what the guy did. He wrote it down. Use like regular soap. And that was it. That was the extent of it. They sent it out like you that. You know, I think, I think it went a little further than that. I think they just put it out there with no warning label. And somebody was like, man, I'm out of dish soap. Oh, look, a bar of soap. Okay. And then they washed their dishes with it and then called and complained because their dishes were still dirty. I think uh, that's. I'm gonna go with that. I and they did were probably see... like, <laughs> use it as regular soap, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, I did see uh, a. I don't remember who it was. Maybe you saw it too. I I know it went around on TikTok and it was all over the internet of a a celebrity chick, and I cannot think of who it was. Um. She would. She thought she had to stick the bar of soap in her ass because she thought it was weird that people shared bars of soap that they stick in their ass. She thought you like to clean your asshole. You had to take the bar of soap and run it on, down into your crack and like scrub it with the bar of soap, like shove it up in there. Um, she didn't realize that you could just like lather up. Like a washcloth, or you can use your hands, or you can, you don't have to. So she was take. I immediately, if I were somebody that grew up living in a household with this person that shared soap with this person, I would immediately just, I would want to vomit. <laughs> I mean, like, I get it, because you can put soap up there if you're constipated, it does help does act like a laxative but yeah like at least we know her butthole squeaky clean so i guess but like how do you not salad? know that that's not how do you not know that you uh, when you wash your hands did, would you, were you just taking the bar and rubbing it all over your whole every finger individually and every like just like you're at a public, you're at the movie theater in there just looking like a crazy person with a bar of soap. Like, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> like, I don't know. You just, you just wet it and lather it on your hands and then, then you're good. 
and wash your hands. I don't know. It's just, it, it worries me that adults, like this is an adult issue. I'm, I'm concerned. I say we take all warning labels off from now on, guys. Let's keep the natural <laughs> I'm selection. Gonna have to, yeah, I'm just, gonna have to agree with you. Just let the dumb people just let them, let them do their I, thing. Let them disappear slowly. It'll be <laughs> faster than you think, honestly. We'll be better off as a society if humans. <laughs> it really, it really would give it a few be. years. Do ha- I don't understand the fucking traffic point. on the freeway is going to start clearing up. Like. Just less people are going to be around if you just remove it. Um, not dishwasher safe. <laughs> the product? TV, TV remote. People. 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 The amount of people that put electronics into dishwashers is astounding. It's absolutely astounding. Like, I don't understand what if is... people don't. The the what do you think the scenario is here behind this? Do you think somebody was just sitting there and they're like, oh, this thing is sticky, and instead of just they getting like a wet rag it. and just wiping it down, <laughs> like um, a normal human being, like any normal human being that would want to clean a TV remote, uh, they're just like, ah, oh, that's too much work. I'm gonna put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> That's honestly, I feel like that's what happened. I honestly feel like that's exactly what happened. Put batteries this battery and all. powered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they didn't take the batteries out or nothing. And then they couldn't figure out why it worked, so they called and complained. And now there's a warning label: do not put it in the dishwasher. I that's, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. I don't. I just. I want to meet these people. I want to meet these people. I genuinely do because I, I don't want know to that understand. I could handle it. I don't know that I could handle meeting these people. I genuinely I don't think I could. I, I think... would be. I would literally be handling them as if they were science experiments, trying to study their ways, like you know, animals and stuff. Yeah, but I would have to have somebody there with me, like you, that I could just look at with the face of, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> I got you. I got you. I would need some room readers around. <laughs> so I'm not the only one experiencing this phenomenon. <laughs> All right. What else we got? This coming? next one. I just, I don't even like the fucking warning label itself. Hot beverages are hot. <laughs> Product. <laughs> On a cup of coffee. <laughs> Guys, once again, we're using the 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 word the the word for the thing is also being the word used to warn you from the thing that you're putting the warning on that is the same thing. So we got hot beverages, which is a hot cup of coffee that this warning label was on, and it says, "Hey, this is hot." You know what's really confusing, though? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we When I used to work for Starbucks, we used to do deliveries and stuff. And we didn't have, like, a separate cup, um, especially when we ran out. We are waiting for, like, the, the inventory to arrive for milk to go. There was no little milk packets. So we would put them in the hot cups. That's not hot. <laughs> what? It's you the, lost the me cup- on that. The cups of milk, like the cold milk that people put in their coffee, we used to put them in the cups and put them on our tray to give to people who oh, ordered yeah, their I've coffee. Seen those. Yeah, like you go to like a, any kind of like Denny's or anything, they do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any kind of breakfast place. That's like a big, yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I'm honestly surprised we haven't had anybody call and just say, say, oh, that's not hot. My beverage was, yeah, my beverage was actually my, cold in this cup and it yeah. said it was supposed to be hot and I don't understand why it's not hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like, how are they helping anybody by saying the hot beverage that you ordered is hot? Like if they didn't realize that they ordered a hot beverage, how is saying, hey, this is hot going to change <laughs> anything for them? You know what this market is for. <laughs> I'm figuring it all out. This market is for people with Alzheimer's. 
They're the only you ones think? that don't remember. They, they has to be. It has to be people with memory issues who go into a Starbucks, order something, or Dunkin' Donuts, order a hot beverage, and walk out and look at the cup that's in their hand and go, huh, what's in here? <laughs> I don't Maybe. I mean, I guess that could be. I don't. I don't. The problem is that makes sense. The problem is that you know that's not why it's there. I know it's not. I'm you just know trying. it's there because of stupid I'm people. Tr- you gotta trying. stop. You gotta stop trying to help stupid people. <laughs> Guys, it's 2022. <laughs> we we gotta leave our week behind. <laughs> we gotta let them fend for themselves. We can't do this anymore. If we want to continue as a society, we have to let the stupid people just drift off. Do yourselves a favor, watch the movie Idi- Idiocracy. Idi- I can't even say it. Idiocracy. Thank you. <laughs> I can't even say it. Yeah. Go watch it. Go watch it. That's what we're heading to. We need to watch that again. I haven't seen that in so long. Same. Uh, such a great Same movie, thing. though. Uh, but speaking of movies, we have our movie of the week coming up, y'all. And uh, this is, believe it or not, one of my favorite movies. I love this movie. Like when I think of like when people say, what are some of your favorite movies? This is one that always comes to my mind, Uh, especially at one kind of the mystery horror genre type of thing. And we um, we watched a movie we we like to do in this segment where one of us watch a movie that the other one hasn't watched. Uh, uh, Did I say that right? (laughs) We we, like what one of us has watched or neither of us has watched at least one of us hasn't watched this movie and we do that each week so we can just kind of get the person's like take on it uh and mm-hmm. this this week's movie that we that Skylo and I watched was a movie that I like and it's called The Mist which is based off of the Stephen King novel um, also my backstory yes <laughs> <laughs> that misty that misty cloud you see back there uh but yeah, uh, we watched The Mist, which is, uh, to me, an amazing movie. And Skylo, I, I don't want to ask, but what were your thoughts? This movie enraged me. It enraged me. I, it was, it was kind of fucked up. There was a lot of stuff in it that just. I think it's because we're part of this not so common sense room reader whole thing that like the people in this in this apocalyptic scenario we're not using common sense and we're ignorant and belligerent and it just made me feel like it was a room full of stupid people and if it was up to me and I was in that room I'd set the whole fucking supermarket on fire mm-hmm. because why not at that point but it was like one of it, it was one of those movies um the story itself was pretty interesting it was pretty interesting i kind of wish it was a little bit more but i guess for when it came out it uh came out in 2007 yeah so for the time that it came out i guess it was good but the ending pissed me off even this is just the most i i just i don't like i just i don't get it i just basically there's this mist that comes in guys that takes over the whole city nobody can see anything in it and we we go along this adventure with the mist uh with a group of people that are stuck in a grocery store that the front of the grocery store is all glass so they can see out and just see all they see is mist uh and it turns out there's like these creatures in the mist that are trying to eat them uh and uh the people in this store like Skylar said was a just a room full of stupid people um they they made all the wrong decisions and it was very infuriating to see the way that they acted uh and all i kept telling sky all i kept telling sky when we when we watched it was this because she was getting mad like she was like oh my god like she was like verbally expressing her anger at these people (laughs) And I was like, okay, this, what you feel right now is how I feel every time I go in public anywhere at any time (laughs) around anybody. 
I feel it's... like I'm surrounded by stupid people. And I'm not I'm not a smart person. I'm a dumbass. But compared to these people that I seem to run into everywhere, like if you want to know how I feel when I go out in public, just watch this movie, guys. Watch this movie yeah. and do the complete opposite of everything that they do and you'll be fine. Yeah. The things that I just But I love this movie. It's a it's a good movie. I it, it if it, to me, if a movie makes you feel an emotion like that, whether it's rage or sadness or happiness or contentness, whatever, if it makes you feel those emotions, then it's a good movie. The actors did their job. The actors were incredible in this movie. They like really made you either hate them or love them. And there's some amazing I hate actors all in it. of them. Uh, I yeah, there there weren't there them. weren't many of them that I was fond of <laughs> in this movie, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think you should check it out. What, so, what, what would you would would it, is it a pass or fail movie for you, Sky? You, you got a grade. Say... Give it a grade. Get, we're going to start grading these movies. I think <laughs> A B C or A B C D or F. I'm honestly, I'm going to give this one a C. It's it's in the middle. I did like the premise for the time that it was made. I do like how real it is for what it was. So if there was an apocalyptic event like that, I do feel like people would be that ignorant. People would be that stupid sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think they would make the wrong decisions like that. And that's why for me, as like a survival thing goes, is you're either coming along or you're not because I'm going to keep moving. So either keep the fuck up or you're you're gonna die. I am not extending my hand. I am going. Yeah. I need to live. So either come with me, come with me if you want to live, or don't. <laughs> yeah. So that's fair. For that that for that reason alone is why I gave it a C because I kind of feel like it would be pretty on point to like how we as people would handle that situ like a situation like that. Okay. But I'm as give far it a, as like, I give it a B plus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give it a B plus because I just really liked the movie. <laughs> That's it. That's my <laughs> whole argument. I just really liked the movie. I just love mystery. You know what I mean? And that whole movie, I was trying to figure out like what was going to happen. And the, the, yeah. ending, the ending threw me off. I wasn't ready for that. So, oh my um, God, that pissed me off. That, pissed, that was, that was, the, that was the cake for me. That little piece, that ending was like, no, someone just fucking kick, drop kicked my, fucking cake on the floor and was just like shitting in it like that's what that felt like to me hey, because know, i was people like pay people to do that so <laughs> i know it's a crazy world we live in <laughs> uh speaking of crazy world that we're living in our next segment is i don't even like doing this segment why do we have this segment <laughs> this is because such a awesome. terrible segment it's an amazing segment. It's such a terrible segment. Uh, it's called Unsettling <laughs> Facts. Uh, and, oh my god. These ones are unsettling. <laughs> These are real mm -hmm. facts, guys. And uh, I'll let Sky lead off, because she's the one that told me this one, and I just immediately cringed. <laughs> you know, being a small person, I kind of feel like this would be a great defense to get away. <laughs> But no, would you guys you know? Be able to reach. Yeah, I, listen, I'm a climber. I'm uh. scrappy. I'm like a fucking squirrel. <laughs> Did you guys know that it's really quite easy to rip someone's face off? All you gotta do is just reach from behind them, down in, into their nostrils, and pull up and back, reverse, until you skin them, just like a rabbit. You can just pull people's faces off, and Completely it's off. not even tear. that hard. Yep, just. Tear it the fuck you off. have two little handles to grab a hold of. <laughs> Just we'll see. that's crazy. <laughs> that's why they say like these gorillas can just grab you and rip your face off real easy. They can just literally like pinch your face mm -hmm. off because they're so much Everyone... stronger than us. We, yeah. If we have Every... the power to do this to each other, <laughs> a silverback gorilla that's made of muscle and magic can just grab you <laughs> and rip it off no problem. He's made of unicorn blood. <laughs> like for real. That's scary. What's crazy is for them to know this and to the, for them to know that it's easy. This has had to have been done many times. Yeah. 
that's 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 the kicker. <laughs> Things that oh, are put out into the world. Oh, that's are like that's much. like uh, that is a like you said earlier. That's a new fear unlocked. Yeah, a whole new not. I don't like people surprising me. Now I gotta look out even right. more. Right, somebody so comes around and like, me. guess who? <laughs> you're getting you're getting need in the crotch. Yeah, you're getting laid the fuck out. Don't touch me. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't touch my face. Don't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. like, Times have changed. Can't push people in the pool anymore. Or you owe them an eleven hundred dollar phone. You can't sneak <laughs> up behind people and say, "Guess who?" You just can't do it. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, uh, we got uh, Amy in our live chat saying you could use it as self defense. That's true. And that's honestly, like I said, as a little person, like being able to like get behind somebody and crawl up them like they're trying to reach for you you know what i mean like they got their arms going trying to get you i'm grabbing that face <laughs> yeah. get away from me you know yeah. you just may need to get your face sewed back on but i can get away safely yeah i'm, I'm tiny that's true i'm not i'm not so not so much um <laughs> did you know in 1977 sky that the first star wars movie came out uh huh. Uh huh. That was... Did you also yes. know that in 1977, mm -hmm. when the first Star Wars movie was already out, France, mm -hmm. you know, France, mm -hmm. they were still executing people by guillotine. Jesus fucking Christ. That's For those who insane. don't know, guillotine, stick your head in the wood, you put the wood Giant over blade. top of your neck. Giant blade drops, cut your head off, it falls into a basket, they hold it up like a trophy. Um, <laughs> Unless you're bald. Yeah, then they can't. Then they have to hold it like this. And this is And that's awkward. just not as cool as... <laughs> you know. Oh! This is Sparta! No, you're like, ha! Oh, th th this is... This is Floyd. Terrible. <laughs> So Good yeah, Lord. for those who are just listening to the podcast, <laughs> you're missing great content here uh, by missing out on the live video feed of this uh, of this show. Uh, you're just basically holding them by the ears if they're bald. So uh, if you want to get revenge on somebody, if they're going to kill you by guillotine, shave your head first. That's the best thing you can do to them. Dude, I rip all of my hair off. But that's crazy. That wasn't that long ago. No, that was like 50-something years ago. Somewhere yeah. Close to that. We have people in our chat, I'm sure, that are well past that age that <laughs> were alive when France was still doing this. I hope you guys didn't go to France. Because <laughs> this could have happened to you. That is just nuts. Isn't it crazy? Yo, what do they do to the head? What are, do they do? I imagine they put them on spikes. On, you know, put them around I the thought, property until they become skulls. That. You know what's even crazier about that? This is just another fun, fun little. Maybe fact. they just had like fun a ball pit, like the, like a head pit, <laughs> like the ball pit at like McDonald's the, or something. It's just a the head king pit. Just goes and in. the king just d jumps in butt naked and rolls around. <laughs> they call it the king's hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Speaking of death and destruction, <laughs> mm. did you know that the amount of days in a human's lifespan would only take about eight and a half hours to count? That's that's crazy. Yeah, we literally like I look going back to the beginning of the show. You know, I, you never know when you're gonna go. This okay? <laughs> Just, this show is two hours. Right, so mm -hmm. you could have a fourth of that done, a fourth just by watching the show of days you could count. What if you talk as fast as you do, though? What if you go <laughs> seven eight nine? What if you go in Spanish? Like, be done. Sky would already be done. I wonder what that wonder what that number is exactly. I didn't look to see. I meant to look that up to see what that actual number would be, like the average lifespan number of days. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Wouldn't that be kind of creepy to to know? Like have that. 
That'd, that'd be a motivator, though. Have it just counting a big, down your day. Have a big oh, chart. No. I mean, we're essentially doing that anyway with years. We're just know, less but... dramatic with years. Uh, but you're 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 saying like that's going to motivate you if you look up and you're like, okay, I have. A total, a human only lives a thousand days. I'm just simplifying it right now to make the, my example here. A thousand, say humans only live a thousand days. When you got to like 500 days, you'd be like, I need to do something with my life. <laughs> right? It's the last 500 days of my life, I need to go. I that's need like to do some stuff. A You're a halfway through. Like, <laughs> that's like, that would be a motivator. Fear is a great motivator, guys. So maybe, maybe. Something you all can do if you're looking for motivation to get off your ass and do something. Mm hmm. Honestly, like, it kind of reminds me. I don't know if you remember, hey, Arnold, but there was this one episode. I think it was a Stoop Kid episode where, like, he was supposed to get beat up. I think Arnold was. And then somebody kept saying, 20 days until you die. <laughs> like, they just kept Jesus. counting down until, like, he was going to get, like, beat up. And so <laughs> that's what that reminded me of. I don't okay. like it. Um, so I just looked it up. There are the the average, you know, who knows what average is? I don't even know what that age would be. But there, the, by Google's average, it's twenty seven thousand three hundred and seventy five days. That's uh, it. Yeah. Um, and our next unsettling fact is that Don't each so one funny. of those days. <laughs> <laughs> you like that segue? <laughs> this is the worst segue ever. Everyone, cover your ears. Each, you don't want to know this. <laughs> each one of those days that we're alive, humans <laughs> and animals alike, um, we breathe in one liter of farts per day. <laughs> So we breathe in a lifespan, a lifetime of living. We breathe in 27,375 liters oh God. Oh God. of farts. Oh, this just reminded me of that TikTok with that old lady with an oxygen tank and her like grandson farted in it. Oh, when God, she... no. First horrible. of all, worst grandson ever. You get the award for worst grandson ever. Like, that's worse than just being a grandparent murderer, I think. You just, that's like torture. That's, that's what they used to breathe. You just farted in their clothes. You just took away their oxygen and replaced it with fart. <laughs> what a terrible, that's, they use that in war. I think I mean, to, as as negotiation tactics and this poor grandma not only had a liter of farts that she had that day, but she had extra fart on top of it. That is terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Well, the next one's even worse to me, though, Sky. I mean, I don't know. Just depends on how you look at it. No, but apparently, no, it's trust me. <laughs> just, just trust me, bro. <laughs> Listen, man. Did you guys know that it only takes twenty-two pounds of pressure to explode a testicle? That's not I'm a lot of weight. Not. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Get her out. She's fired. Uh, I have a new position open as a, my co-host on Not So Common Sense. <laughs> you have starting to be a as of ten seconds ago. <laughs> you have to be a cartoon animated cloud. <laughs> uh, that can wave and flip people off and everything. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, um, but yeah, no, you uh, yeah, twenty two pounds of pressure is all it takes to explode a testicle. I mean, a lot. That I'm never going to be on the bottom anymore in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm done. Thrusters are turned back 80%. <laughs> that slapping pressure happening. You know, honestly, 
the one thing that I used to hate is when like guys wanted me to wear my heels in the bedroom because like that would be a fear of mine. I'd be like, what if I went to go climb on top and I stepped on it with like one of my stilettos or something? I would I would feel horrible. I I probably would have murdered somebody. Yeah, that's fair. Shoes are dangerous in the bedroom, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> just, I um do I just like I mean there are books that weigh that much. I have encyclopedias that weigh that much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just like, <laughs> I mean, even if it's I'm in bed with somebody that's tiny, that's only like it's less than a hundred pounds. That's still like, she could bust four of them, you know, like <laughs> at once. She just has to drop. Just, that's just all. like one wrong oh, miss, God. miss drop there, and and. Oh man, my You're imaginary making a trip to the nuts emergency are just room. like receding right now, dude. Yeah, mine are. Good. They're like gone. It. They left. <laughs> They're like, no, we out. We're out, deuces. <laughs> we want none of this. But yeah, that's crazy. First of all, uh, it's disturbing that that's all it takes. Second of all, it's disturbing that they know this information. Did you think about how they figured this out? No. No. There's I only one way know. they could have figured this out. I don't Skyler. know. No. 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 The answer is no. There's only the one answer, way that they no. can figure out how to explode a testicle with the amount of pressure of weight. And that's by no. putting, adding Stop. weight, adding it slowly, ah! pound by no! pound, ah! until it exploded. Now, okay, are they leaving these attached to cadavers? Because I'm assuming they're using cadavers. I'm assuming. Are they leaving them attached? Are they cutting them off and then testing it that way? Like, maybe, I need maybe, to know. They're, maybe they had a live test. Because maybe testicles change once you die. I'm sure things, like, harden and, like, I don't know what happens to your testicles when you die. But, like, I'm sure, like, because your whole body, like, goes stiff, right? So, like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe they needed a live person to test this. <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe Very they possible. didn't know it was going to explode. Maybe they just thought, let's see how much weight they can handle until they're like, okay, I'm done. What if it was a total accident? Like That's somebody what I'm saying. Because I've seen people like lift things with their penis, like wrap it around the bar, like dumbbells and mm-hmm. shit and lift it. And it's fucking weird. Like, I don't know why you do that. Okay, do it. Whatever. It's your thing. Cool. But it looks very painful. Like it would hurt. Maybe it was like one of them. Like they accidentally were curling a twenty-five pound thing. I don't. I don't know. They just set it I down just... and, and like set it right on it, and it ah, popped. Jesus, at the gym. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm sorry. like I'm. My stomach hurts. That's every guy out there right now that's hearing this their stomach hurts just thinking I'm about it sorry like it literally oh, hurts up in your stomach right now just thinking about it like that's how bad it uh, is yeah. okay let's move the fuck on <laughs> shall we okay next segment y'all man we're a good ways through this show already i feel like we just started Crazy. i know we just got back from a few weeks off, guys, and then and, and we're we're all we're already almost halfway through, over halfway through. We're, man. Anyway, this segment <laughs> is uh something we like to call "What Would You Do," and it's just a kind of funny hypothetical situations that uh, we ask each other uh, and just see what we would do in those situations. Uh, we try to use our common sense to answer it. And we tried to to see what you guys would do in these situations. So if you're in the live chat, please let us know what you would do uh, and why. And if you're listening on the podcast anywhere, uh, we are available on all major podcast stations. For those that are here in the live stream and you want to listen to us on podcast, you can do that pretty much anywhere. Uh, but the first one, who's asking it, Sky? The first question. Um, I'm going to go have, ahead and ask. I that. have not seen these guys. I've not got to see these <laughs> at all. all right. Your cat likes to sleep with you, but your new lover has kitty fear. Do you banish your faithful pet from the bedroom when you have a sleepover? 
Uh, n- no, they're no longer my lover. <laughs> Same. 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 The minute you're just like, oh, God, you have a cat. I'm like, oh, God, you got to leave. You don't, you, <laughs> you don't want to be around my pets. See ya. You're out. Now, yep. it's one thing during, like, sexy time. Like, you want to have that privacy in your room and not be disturbed during that time. That's one thing. But like just for the whole night, no, no, you're gone. You're out. You're not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. We're not doing this. I'm not doing it. Refuse. Yep. That's a simple one for me. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a no brainer for me. Just uh, cat, dog, bearded dragon, whatever it is you have. <laughs> there are people who would choose the person over the animal, and I just to you people, I have to say, you're nuts. Yep. You're nuts, and you're I hope nuts. you get squished. Listen, you're nuts, <laughs> and I'm going to hand you a 22-pound dumbbell. <laughs> uh, I can't. <laughs> we have the same thought. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, all right. <laughs> Next one. Are you ready for this, guy? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At work, an envelope gets misdelivered to you instead of Miss Goody Two-Shoes in the next cubicle. Inside. Excellent. Inside are compromising photos of her and a colleague. Do you Ooh. share the gossip with the water cooler crowd? Nah, but you fucking sure shit. No, I'm gonna hold that over her fucking head. No. Yep. That's fucked up. <laughs> but she's a bitch. We ain't gonna Why do this. Why is she a bitch? She's a goody two shoes. She's just a good person. No, she's not. She's fake. That's fake. They didn't say oh, fake. No. It just says she's a goody two shoes, meaning she she's follows Miss, the rules. She's Miss Goody Two Shoes. Yeah, she's going to be one of those people like, you didn't cut the report. From it didn't Miss say that. Evening. It just said like, Miss Goody Two that's, Shoes. That's what a Miss Goody Two Shoes I just is. And now, like, I, and just, now, wait, stop, I don't think stop, I can no, blackmail hold up, somebody. Hold up. Hold up. So you're Miss Goody Two Shoes, but yet you're over here fucking swinging from the that's chandelier true. with that's your true. dude. Like, I don't think I would. You are fake. I couldn't a blackmail him with it. I couldn't blackmail him with it. I think I what I would do is give it to him and let them know that I'm aware of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Like, I thought you were I'll like holding it know. over like, hey, I've got something. Don't fuck with me or I'm putting this out. No, 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 no. It would be one of those things where like, I know what's inside here. Yeah. And this is what's going to happen. You're going to, You're going to do what you do up around me. But like, yeah, like don't put, don't give me any of that shit. If I'm running late on a fucking assignment, I'm running late on an assignment. Don't go over to our boss and let them know that I'm running late on an assignment. Yeah. Like, we're not doing this. Because I've I've That's been around. Fair. I would be that way. I would be like, listen, peoples. here. You you just got exposed to me. I'm a good person, so I'm not going to expose your business to the ro- to the world. No matter how mm-hmm. much I hate you, that's just, I'm not going to ruin your life with this, you know, uh, but mm-hmm. I am going to let you know, hey, I'm aware of who you are as a person, so you're going to stop mm-hmm. being that way with me. Yep. I don't like fake people. I don't like fake people. If yeah. you're going to be that way, like, no. We'll probably end up becoming best friends, to be honest, because then they'll let it literally be themselves around me even mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. And I just, I like honest people. It's sad that people feel like they can't be themselves. That really does. That it genuinely really makes me sad when people feel like when people alter their personality based on who they're around. Yeah, that oh, that hurts my like that hurts my heart a little bit because it's like you're not living your life for you. You're living your life for everybody yep. else. Yep, I've literally lived that way for about twenty eight years, twenty nine years. I just it's 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 you wear a mask all yeah. day every day, and it's just it's tiring. It's exhausting. Mm-hmm. The day I ripped that mask off, I was like, yes! <laughs> yep. Fuck everybody. This is me. Either love me or hate me. I don't care. <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> In the doubles finals of a charity tennis tournament, you and your spouse must play against your boss and his wife, who both hate to lose. Would you throw the match? Absolutely not. <laughs> Me neither. Absolutely not. Getting the the, I'm I'm wiping the floor with them. I'm gonna just fucking teabag him at the end, like yeah. You're really I'm big. victory dancing. <laughs> I'm making out with my with my girlfriend that I played with, just like 
with my spouse there. I'm just making out with him on the court. <laughs> You're Dry pulling humping. the Billy Madison with the fucking tennis racket. Yeah, just I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I'm full sending it. Full se- Fire me over this, I dare you. I dare you to fire me over this. I also played tennis in high school and I played doubles. <laughs> yeah, I'd really be into it. This is a, this is a good I... one for me was not allowed to play tennis because I would always hit the other people and you weren't allowed to do that in high school because it would hurt them. That was gym. So I just automatically assumed that I was always bad until I grew up and realized that if you hit them, it's still counted as a point. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm beaming the ball at him. Yeah. Beaming it at him. Yep. Yeah. I have no, when it comes to, yeah, no, I have no chill. <laughs> I just don't. That's me. All right, Sky. Yeah. The bad news from your doctor is that you have an STD. Oh, no. Would you contact past sexual partners to let them know? Yeah, I would. I okay. honestly would give them, like, hey, yo, I got the herb. I guess, uh, it would, I, don't know. I guess it would just depend on timeline. R- right? Like, you wouldn't contact people from, like, years ago. Pro- yeah, no, probably definitely not years. Like, it would depend on recent. what the doc It would depend on what the doctor would say to me. Like when was the timeline that I would have contracted it and mm-hmm. I'd be like, "All right, I know who I need to call." And right. for those who I don't have their numbers because we literally just hooked up in the library or the bathrooms or the bars or whatever, then you know They're going to find we'll out. See ya. They're going to find They'll out. They'll find out there. eventually. Yeah. <laughs> They'll find out eventually. I ain't got their There's number. There's not much you can do at that point. Bother. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, if it's somebody <laughs> that you actually know, numbers. I mean, yeah, that's an embarrassing call. Yeah. You don't nobody wants to make that call. Uh I honestly I wouldn't even be embarrassed. I'd just be like, yo, at I'm, this point I got herpes. This day and age, yeah. I I think people are a little more open to that kind of stuff. But it's still yeah. it's just not a phone call anybody would want to make. Uh but yeah. yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I think yeah, because you don't want them going out spreading it to other people either. You know what I mean? Like that's just kind of yeah, a like, you don't want to be that person. Exactly. It's just like letting them yeah. just go out and just unknowingly just spread this and around. And then they get and they call you and you're like, oh no, you gave it to me. <laughs> so messed up. So messed up. <laughs> All, right. All right. A friend who was a bit irresponsible with money asked to borrow $500 from you. Would you lend her the Benjamins? No. <laughs> no no they're they're irresponsible with money clearly I'm not giving them mine <laughs> just not doing honestly, it. honestly i wouldn't give them money either but i would help them find a job i would help them however i could but i'm not giving them money yeah i'm not i've done that in the past where i've now, if it's a friend who I know that wasn't irresponsible with money, that's what I'm yeah, saying. This, but this is an but like, irresponsible person. Yeah, if it's an irresponsible person, then I'd just be like, absolutely no. not. Like, absolutely why? Not. Where did your money go when you knew you had things that you needed to buy? Right. I can understand being broke, but if you are just spending your money like willy nilly on shit, and like, you have you a job, and you're you not can't afford to eat, but you're going and buying like expensive purses and and expensive yeah. watches and. Things like, uh, yeah, no. going out to eat every night yeah. and like, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I have zero pity for you. Like, yeah. same, I'm not doing it. Together. Chat, get your shit together. Chat and listeners, room readers out there, let us know what you would do in these situations. We'd really love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, what would you do? Is the segment, and we want to know what would you do and why. Tell Honestly, us why. Give us the common kind of sense like- behind why. I feel like this is the first time you and me actually agreed on every single one. Did we agree on all of them that time? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, we did. Wow, that's a first. Look at us go. <laughs> Look at us sink in our common sense cycles. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, boy. Pet peeves, Skylo. <laughs> we got all kinds of them here. Speaking of being in sync with people, one thing that really bugs the shit out of me is close-minded people. Mm -hmm. I can understand if you don't like something. That's fine. If it's not your cup of tea, if you tried it. But 
don't fucking sit there on your goddamn high horse and judge somebody else for some shit because you don't understand it the way that they do. Yeah. That's just perception. You perceive it one way, they perceive it another. Just let them let, live and let live. Yeah, live and let live. My favorite quote of all time. And uh, I couldn't agree more. Closed-minded people are what's wrong with our world. Not just our country, our world today. Mm-hmm. Think about it. Get all of our world leaders together. All of our, our top people that are running the world. Get them together as an open-minded group of individuals on how to work together and make life great for everybody. Um, think about that. If people were actually open-minded to do that, open-minded enough mm-hmm. to do that, what we could accomplish as a human race. It, it's unreal. It's unreal. It really and I genuinely think closed-mindedness is, is one of the biggest problems in our culture it is it really is just people just they want to put their two cents into something they don't want to admit you know that things change uh it's just feelings stubborn. change it's just ideas stubbornness. change it is it is stubbornness and it is stubbornness i think you gotta you gotta learn to be open-minded especially these days like in this economy oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck you you gotta <laughs> God, you gotta <laughs> Not our podcast. <laughs> you have tainted at our le- podcast. At least once a, a day, I have to get that <laughs> that uh, that sentence in to, to Skylo because it's the oldest person sentence I've ever said. Uh, I said oh, it one day, like naturally said it, and I was like, "Oh my god, that might be the oldest thing I've ever said," and that's in <laughs> this economy. And now I have to say it at least once a day to Sky. So you guys were witness to today's venture of that. So you're welcome. Uh, I hate him right now. I hate everything right now. Speaking of hating everything, that is my next one. People who hate (laughs) everything. Haters of everything. (laughs) Right? Like They're just never fucking happy. Never happy with anything. At all. They find the the negative. negative in everything. It's like you can't just you can't just be happy, can you? You can't just just enjoy something without so trying much. to find. And trust me, I'm one. I'm, I'm a room reader, guys. I feel like I have the common sense to look at things and be like, "Oh, this really sucks." But I also am able to be on the other side and use that common sense to be like, "Okay, I can enjoy this aspect of it." Hmm. You know what I mean? You don't have to hate everything or hate a whole thing just because you dislike a part of it. And you know what's funny? I just I feel like that you can tell a lot by a person by that situation, what you just said. Because my whole life, I've always been that kind of person where, like, I'm given something extremely negative. And I know they always say, like, oh, look at the brighter side of things. Look at the bright. Like, it, it is true. that There is. And I know some things are just, like, so fucking dark. But, like. There's a lot that if you just sit and think about it, like, okay, what, where is something that I can, I can kind of get a little bit of pleasure from this thing. Mm -hmm. Some people hate camping. They hate being out in nature. You know what? Why don't you just stop and smell the fucking roses once in a goddamn Mm -hmm. while? (laughs) Just, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely like you hit it on the head there. Look on the bright side aspect of it but it's not even that you have to look on the bright side you just don't have to hate things exactly either. you know what i mean and this can this can be applied to so many aspects of life this can be, if are you in a you automatically apply this when you get married to someone you don't love every little single thing about that person no. there are things that they that they're going to do and say and act like and 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 that that you're not going to be a fan of. That's just human nature, guys. That's just natural human. Not everybody can 100% be on the same page with every single thing ever. It's just not. It's it's uh it's irrational to even think that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you're able to do that with your partner, right? Why can't you do it with other things? Why can't yep. you? You love your partner still, even though you don't like this certain aspect. So okay. I love this movie. I hated this one part, but I love the rest of the movie. 
Mm -hmm. um, are you going to hate that movie because of that one part? No. Right? But there's people that Correct. are doing that. People that are doing that to everything. They're like, oh, I hate, I hate who you are because of your hair. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I hate this game because I had one bad experience. Yeah. It, and now I never want to I got to beat play in this game. In this I, I came against a cheater in this game, so I never want to play it again. It's a horrible game. The developers are terrible. Okay. It's just like, I don't know. It's just one of those things that I think haters of everything are, they annoy me. Yeah. They do. They annoy like, me. Just try to just try to find one little good thing about it. Yeah. What like else annoys one? you, Sky? Fucking telemarketers. They Fuck be blowing up. Telemarketers. Goddamn phone. Oh my god. I have I have come to the point in my life where I literally, if I pick up the phone by accident, I will make up. I will fabricate a whole fucking bizarre thing. Like they're like, hey, we want to talk to you about your car insurance and your extended warranty. Okay, hold on. I'm just cleaning my anal dildo. Can you just give me like five <laughs> minutes and then I will be on with you. My hand is just really full of this giant cock. <laughs> and then they hang up. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. They never call me again. They never call that. again because they're like, this was just awkward in all sorts of <laughs> awkwardness. I just, I can't. Oh, yeah, can you give me a minute? Can I call you back? I'm in the bath with my dog right now, and um, he's being real uh, jumpy, <laughs> uh, <laughs> splashing everywhere, and I don't want my phone to get wet. <laughs> we bathe together. <laughs> I'm getting my asshole waxed right now. <laughs> can I call you back? <laughs> Listen, I'm in the middle of a gangbang. <laughs> They said something Brazilian. I thought we were going to the churrascaria. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't Denny's. We're meat. not at Denny's like I thought we were going to be. Uh, over easy meant something completely different. Uh, anyway, yeah. See, I'm a somebody. Who, I'm somebody who has to answer their phone when people call, right? Yeah. Because with my line of work, it could be an important call, and. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I do get calls from numbers that I don't recognize all the time that are people that I needed to talk to. So I pretty much have to answer every time my phone rings. And when 98% of the time, it's stupid telemarketers. And I've got, even got the call protect stuff to keep them. I'm mm -hmm. on the no call list, like all of that stuff. And I still mm -hmm. get these bot calls. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to just go off the grid completely. At this point with these bot calls. They're getting out of control. They're out of control. Did we lose yeah. this guy? Okay. No. She's. Are you mm -hmm. with us? Yes. We're here. Okay. We're, we're... We did lose connection for a moment. Okay. But I'm back. I thought I saw like a glitch <laughs> or something happen. I wasn't sure what went down there. <laughs> um, you know one thing I've done to these people. Which is like it's. it's it's I'm terrible people. I am so I don't know why people think I'm nice. I'm not nice. I am literally a terrible person. <laughs> so like, they'll call. They're like, "Hey, can I speak to Skylo really quick?" Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. One second, one second. Hello. Oh, hi. Can I speak to Skylo? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. <laughs> Let me get on. Hello. How can I help you? Is this Skylo? Oh, you're looking for Skylo. Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> I just keep going yeah. until eventually they hang up. Because that's what like, I do okay, to trolls when I stream on Twitch. If trolls come in, sometimes I'll try to keep them there as long as I mm -hmm. can, waiting for me to ask them something, and then I just never ask them the question. <laughs> like if you come and interfere with my life, I'm sorry. Right. You're fair game. Oh, you yeah, are 100 fair, game. fair game. 100 yeah, fair like game. don't, don't, don't. I'm gonna want. I'm, I'm going to full send. If you come at me, if you throw a pebble at me. I'm dropping a boulder on you. <laughs> Simple as that. I could just imagine. I feel so bad because sometimes they go home and they're like, this is what they do for a living. This is their job. And they're probably like, man, I'm going to think about anal bees all day because mm -hmm. that one girl, <laughs> <laughs> they're all disturbed and shit. Like, You're welcome. <laughs> now, this this one may be a first world problem, but... I, this is a pet peeve of mine, and and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but those lawn care people that don't, like, blow away the grass on the sidewalks or wherever. 
They just you know leave why the grass me off? everywhere, and it builds up in these clumps on the road, or it mm. builds up. This pisses me off because. Fucking when I was a kid and I used to go biking down the, my neighborhood and they used to have those giant clumps of grass and it would be slick. I it would slide on those and I would fall and I would have skin knees and freaking scrape my arms and fall off my bike, nearly cracking my head open because I was stupid and didn't wear a helmet. So that was my fault, but still your fault. <laughs> like that's why it pisses me off. <laughs> I just, just like you just track that stuff everywhere. That stuff just gets to your shoes. You track it anywhere you go into your house, and, and it's like, where did this? And it just looks bad. It just looks unclean, unsanitary. Like you cut, you have the machine to cut the grass, but you don't have the machine to blow it off of the sidewalk. Right. Well, you can only splash it with the water. Can't kill it. Yes. It's too I expensive. Don't know. Because it's of just, the implication. Because of the implication. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's just, again, I know this is a first world problem, but it's... it's still, still, no, I'm sorry. No, because my grandfather... It's a respect thing. Soul. Yeah, no, my grandfather would be out there doing the lawn, cutting the grass. He didn't have a fancy... You know what he did? He took his broom. Mm -hmm. He went out there and took his broom and broomed it. And it's when that literally broom the easiest work, part he, of the job. Yeah. He used to <sighs> rake it. If he couldn't, like, he would make sure it was pristine and clean. Like, yeah. I don't want to hear people... No, that, that shit pisses me off. Especially now that I have a kid who's riding his bike around the neighborhood. Well, You're like I said, especially when they have leaf blowers now that you just... You don't yeah. do anything. You literally walk by it once. And it's, it's just, done. Done. Get your fucking hair dryer from the yeah. inside of the house. Use that. I don't care. Use all that Shoot, hot I, air you're full of. <laughs> I used to have just to cut the grass with a fucking pair of scissors <laughs> when our freaking lawnmower yeah. came down. Like, Up the hill, ten miles it. both ways, being chased <laughs> no by the shoes. boogeyman. In the middle of winter, we yeah. had grass in the winter. We it did. was a blizzard. <laughs> but and this was in house. the middle of the desert. <laughs> it was really uh, weird. There were jackals. <laughs> speaking of overusing a joke, is the next <laughs> the next pet peeve of mine and and yours. I know. Uh, it's just some people don't know when to, to not use a joke like now yeah. if we talked about how I do this a lot with my with my streaming I will use a lot of the same jokes a lot but that's a that's a content situation where I do it because there's constantly new people in and out of my streams so I will I will do jokes like that or I'll overuse one on purpose but those people that just think a joke is really really funny and they just use it non-stop and then every time they say it or do it to you, it's like the, they think it's the first time you've ever heard it or said it. Mm hmm. And they just and don't just let like, it die. No. I'm, the worst is when they get to the punchline and they're just like, so he ate her. Get it? He ate her. He ate her. Yeah, right? all the funniest right? jokes are the ones like, that you have to describe. Like, dude, just stop. Just it's it ran its course. It was funny when it happened, and now we move on. Let's let's think of something new, new material. Come on, keep it up, keep it up, move it. Mm -hmm. oh, I, just, mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like you said, like I understand content. Content is 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 not what we're talking about. When people genuinely use the same joke again and again and again and again, and the same people again and again, like it's guys, come on, come on. Yep, it's dead. Just bury it. All right, guys, we got some viewer questions that we're going to get to now. We haven't got to do these in a while, uh, and no, we we've haven't. got some for you here that people have asked us, and um, and we're going to answer them for you. Uh, first question, Sky, what are your summer plans? Well, um, because of my surgery, um, they don't exist anymore. Ooh. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so, no, I mean, I'm just going to pretty much just kind of stick around the house and do what I can. Hopefully, I can, hopefully after this next, um, this next doctor's appointment, I'll be able to go out a little bit more, maybe go to the beach. My kid has been going with my mom, so they've been kind of giving me a nice little break so I can kind of get that bed rest. But I'm really hoping to hit the beach at least once this year because I miss okay. it. But we'll see. That's we'll fair. see how it goes. I basically live on a beach and I don't go. <laughs> so <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, uh, I'm a ginger, though. We we tend to be afraid of the sun a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. But yeah, my summer plans are like I said. I'm I'm I've gotten into the exercise thing. I'm really trying to spend the summer just 
healthying myself up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like focusing on me, focusing on my career, focusing on my health, trying to really make advances uh, this summer. And uh, that's good. Yeah. Take that next step. You know, I'm 34. I want to I feel like I'm. I've been plateaued for a while and I want to I want to kind of make that next venture forward. So uh this summer I'm 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 just trying to do that. I'm I'm it's it's hard. Trust me. It's it's definitely hard to do sometimes, but uh that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be an adult even though there's no such thing mm-hmm. as real adults. Uh okay, Sky. What was your favorite toy growing up? Oh, this one's tough. Um, I had so uh, exclude many video of them. games. Exclude video games because everybody. Yeah, I'm them. not. Yeah, everybody did. Um, I'm gonna have to say, as a kid, I I was such a bookworm, but I I used to have this. We talked about it before. Um, actually, no, I lied. I know exactly what it is. I think his name was Gargamel the cat. From uh the uh the Smurfs, the little cat. I don't know if it was Gargamel. I don't really what remember was much about cat? the Smurfs. So I used to have this little stuffed doll um that I used to literally carry around everywhere, like everywhere. He was this little brown cat, Azriel. His name was Azriel, and he was adorable, and I loved him. And he had such a grumpy little look on his face, and I carried that some everywhere, literally everywhere and i'm pretty sure i left him at a mall and i never saw him again Oof. and i was heartbroken i like from i can't even remember like when i first got him but at for years that cat like he had a white tuft that wasn't white anymore like Oof. he went everywhere with me that cat was like everything to me and one day he was just gone now he's gone and I'm never going to see him that again. That cat actually grew up to be a, a stockbroker. It's wild. Uh, they work on Wall Street and uh, have a family of their own. They don't I'm ever talk to Sky to at all anymore. I'm going to need you to stop. Uh, my, so heartbreaking. my favorite toy growing up was, uh, and I don't know if you guys remember this or not. I know Skylo does, but those little tubes of this magic material that you would squeeze out onto the little tip of a plastic oh my straw. Oh I forgot about those. I love those. These like little rubber, it was like this like dried paint stuff that would come out of these tubes. Little rubbery little things and you would put them in a ball on the end of these little plastic straws and then you would blow in it and like these big balloon things would form out of them. <laughs> and they smelled like toxic Gasoline. death. Gasoline. <laughs> they smell like gasoline. They smell to like me. pure toxicity. If toxicity, if the word toxic had a smell, that's what that it would smelled be it. like. It was um, amazing. I love that smell. But so I much. could be entertained for <laughs> days. <laughs> for <laughs> days with those me. things. They were so fun to me. I don't I don't even know I genuinely don't even know what they're called. But they were bubble so something. Plastic bubble, maybe. I have no idea. But I don't know. They smell, and I think, now that I think about it, I think I was just getting high from them. <laughs> That's why we love them That's so much. That's why I love like, them so much. Yeah, I was like, oh, I did that, that, like, that addictive, like, <laughs> that glue sensation just came over. Yeah. gasoline smell. <laughs> Stuff like, was amazing. All the shit that you're not supposed to smell. That's what it smelled like. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. Sky, what is the strangest thing in your fridge? Caramel candy corn. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's that's the the weirdest thing in my fridge right now is just caramel candy corn. I don't think there's anything else in there that's weird. There's like leftover Chinese food. There's eggs. There's some water. Yeah. There's pizza. But yeah, no. So you have a pretty caramel normal candy corn. Pretty much for the most case. I mean, there's usually nothing. That's bizarre in my fridge. I can confidently say that. Yeah, no. I mean, I've got this weird Miracle Whip thing that's not really Miracle Whip. Okay. It's like a, it's like a, the, a, a good for you brand, like a, 
better food mm, for you gotcha. brand kind of and it's it was just horrible i i tried it and i was just like ah it's just in there i'm gonna throw it out eventually because i'm not gonna use it on anything else it tastes it's terrible yeah <laughs> it's fucking horrible but other than that yeah no that's it okay that's fair pretty normal fridge uh yeah. i as uh as a grown adult with no children uh the weirdest thing in my fridge uh would be strawberry insure that's fair i love strawberry insure i love fair. it i love it it's I, good stuff. I can drink that stuff i love it i'm addicted to it <laughs> i don't know why don't know what even got me started trying it it was just surgery well, no, I had had it since I was like a teenager. I've been addicted to oh, this stuff. Probably working out. I, I think that's what it was. I think it was from when I was working out. It was a kind of a, an additive to my meal. It was supposed to be a meal replacement, but I was trying to pack on as much weight as I could. And yeah. I was drinking those like between my meals. Because yeah, somebody had told me to get it. them. Yeah, that is that is why it happened. And uh, the strawberry insure, and uh, to this day... I I crave them. They're so good. like it's like almost like a nostalgic smell and taste <laughs> to me. I it's don't think so I've weird. ever had the strawberry ones. Do they uh, taste kind of like the quick? Um, no. This is a whole like this tastes like nothing I've ever had before. I don't I'm know how to explain it. It's a it's it them. is an acquired taste. I promise you that. You may you you may be like, oh my god, this tastes like medicine. You know. <laughs> It's gonna taste like Pepto Bismol. Yeah, but it's an acquired <laughs> taste. But man, when you do acquire it, like coffee, at first I didn't. I, I didn't like coffee. Coffee was disgusting to me. Now I can't live my life without it. Um, <laughs> it's same way with the strawberry and sure. I just can't. I just love it too much. Uh, so sure. I'd say that's the weirdest thing for somebody that's a a man in their thirties to have in the <laughs> fridge. That's fair. That's fair. All, All right. right. Uh, I when, think I know yeah. the answer okay. for this one from you, but uh, when do you feel most in control? Just when I'm at home. Huh. Right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I guess it depends, like, control of what exactly? Just in general, where you feel, I guess, the most comfortable where you're just like, okay, I, I'm, I got this. This is my comfort place. Uh, behind the wheel of a race car. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that, which is weird because I was gonna say not a race car, but just when I'm driving okay. is when I feel when I'm most in control. Yeah. yeah. When I when I'm in an actual real race car, I do the online racing and stuff. But I used to drive real race cars for those who don't know. And when I'm in a race car and I'm strapped in and it's just me inside that quiet helmet. And mm -hmm. it's just me and the 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 machine that I'm controlling. I'm that's to me that's my place that's my zone. And you know, I think for me, I think it it's going to be that either that or when I'm with animals when I'm working with animals because mm. I just that's fair. there's like a I don't know what it is just this communication that I have mm -hmm. where I can just snap my fingers and then snap your fingers. Do the star. Okay. Uh, what's a lifelong fear that you've had since childhood that will just never go away? You'll never be Darkness. able to get over it. Darkness. Darkness. I don't. I can't. I just. I don't. Even to this day, the minute if if my lights were to go out right now because I'm in the basement, I would legitimately be having a mild panic attack. The tingles would immediately erupt on my arms and my palms would get sweaty. <sighs> I'm not even like I Knees wish I was weak, kidding. Arms would be heavy. Arms ha yeah, there's vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, the whole nine. Yeah. Um. I mean, I know it's eight mile, but it's a nine mile for me because that's how far I'm running to get into the light. Like I don't like the darkness. I immediately feel like there's something on me grabbing me, and I just I don't like it. I don't like the dark. I don't do it. Uh, I didn't like it when I was a kid. Couldn't care less about it now. Never even a thought to me now as an adult. The other, than, know how other than it's just like I wish I could see where I'm going and what I'm doing, but oh, yeah, I other than see. that, but still the darkness I don't like it. And you know what's really fucked up 
is that my son was also was also scared of the dark but because my fear was so much greater than <laughs> than him i used to tell him no 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 just go i'm right here just go upstairs and turn on the light just, just... your baby you go get eaten by the monster in the dark first <laughs> You you go ahead. They're gonna leave you alone because you're innocent. It's fine. I don't know. <laughs> I you don't. don't you, it doesn't bother me. It just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Other than it's I just, I wish I could see better. Like <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, I get it. As a kid, I was I had that fear. Of, but like once I like grew up and realized none of that was real, I was like, oh, okay. And then I just it just went away. That fear went away. So what's your thing? What do you think? <laughs> sharks. Sharks. I didn't know you because you said Actually, that you honestly, didn't have no. It. As a child, I really wasn't that. I mean, I was like yeah. I always kind of had that little like sense and but I would still go out in the ocean and forget about it when I was out. I'd go way out there like an idiot. Um <laughs> but I uh yeah, since childhood, I'd say Man, I don't know. I don't know that I've had a fear that stuck with me since childhood. I've developed new fears as a dog. <laughs> I, I don't know that I've had one that, like, my whole life. Um, new fear. I'm... I'd say my biggest fear was just losing my family. That's like, losing fair. all of my family. Like, in, like, a car wreck or a plane crash or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, something Being, crazy. Being, like, the only one control. left in my family. I can family. see that. I think that's like I, one fear that I'll never like get past. That's fair. Because like for that. me, I like kind of live my life for them. Like they're they're the reason I live my life. So it's like I want to do things to make them proud and and to celebrate with them and enjoy life with them. And if I don't have them, then I would feel like what's the point? And that's terrifying. That makes sense. That's terrifying. That makes sense. So yeah, I think I think I'd have to go with that. I just thought yeah, about that, but yeah. Just like you, like for the longest time, I was like that too. And then when I got older, I was like, man, I really fucking hate my family sometimes. So I just I'm, stopped I'm, caring. I'm talking about <laughs> particular family members, but yeah. <laughs> like, I just gave up on all of that. I'm like, I'm living for me. Yeah, <laughs> Except in dark places. I will not live in dark places. <laughs> you send your six-year-old child in first. <laughs> I'll send my six-year-old. There you go, baby. Off you go. Be a brave soul for mommy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, guys, we have reached that time. It's the oh, end no. of the show. And we like to end every show with a hypothetical question that we go delve into a little deeper, you know? Something that we we take a little we'll spend a little more time in than those other ones that we we talked about. But uh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Since you mm -hmm. came up with this one, I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. first. Okay. <laughs> if every time, and also the people that are here in the live chat or people listening in the comments uh, to the podcast, let us know your your response to this, please. If every time you snapped your fingers, you were transported to a random time in humanity, would you snap your fingers? If so. How much? Every week. Wow. Every fucking week. I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna take a week here. But would you have to live your more? would you have to live your whole life like that's your life? You'd never go back to to now? Never, no, fuck it. I just keep going to different times and learning different things. Like in the beginning I'd probably do it a lot more. Because I would go crazy for the day and just be like, all right, let's see what I can get away with here. Like, depending on where I was. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I, I might go into the That's olden true. times. I'm you thinking, say like, you every know, week, but what if you snap your fingers and there's dinosaurs trying to eat you? You're going to be yeah, snapping your fingers pretty quick. Exactly. Again. So it would, just, it would just depend. You know what I mean? But, like, I'm just, I have a habit also of snapping my fingers, like, all the time. Like, yeah. I just... Like what did I do? Like, well, it would. Ha like, I, I'm guessing it would be like a a specific snap, like a yeah, special maybe. snap. You know, maybe I think so. But yeah, no, I would be doing it as much as possible. Like I would imagine you had this power, but you fun. didn't know how to snap your fingers. 
<laughs> oh my god so that would be my life fingers. like if, if they're like all you gotta do is whistle this tune and you can have all the money in the world i can't whistle and i will never be able to whistle <laughs> You know, the funniest thing that actually happened to this was recently. I think this was last week. Dead asleep, fucking like a rock. I get mommy, 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 like a panic, like on my shoulder. I'm like, what? What? Are you okay? Like, what happened? He goes, look what I can do. He starts snapping his fucking fingers. And I'm like, you're snapping? He goes, yeah, I'm snapping. And I'm like, you woke me up to show me that that you can snap. That child would be up for adoption. (laughs) he's just like yeah yeah i did i'm just like i'm so happy for you baby but like you could have told me this when i woke up and i would have been even more excited and he's like yeah but i really wanted to tell you now okay bye and then he just left and i was just like oh my god (laughs) you know what would be cool is if you could like grab somebody's hand and then when you snap your finger they transport them with with me i would do i would do that and then i would go grab people like hitler and then just take them to the dinosaur age and then leave them there. Let go of them and but snap see, my fingers and just leave them there. It's, it's <laughs> like, a random time in humanity. Well, I know, but though. I would just keep snapping until I end up at that time. <laughs> like, what year is it? He's what year is it? <laughs> what year is it? I just like, wear a shirt that just said, tell me what year it is. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> Everywhere I went. Man. So, what about you? Um... I guess if I ever decided to give up on this life, yeah, I would. <laughs> you know, I would. Or maybe once I'd like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Probably would. I would probably. I, I would probably, probably would. I'd, I'd have to say my goodbyes, but then I probably would. Yeah. I would honestly, in a heartbeat. I would literally, until I found the place where I was just like, this, this is home. This is where I belong. Yeah, yeah. this is home. That's basically what I'm going to do in another 12 years. Just travel the world until I feel like, you know what? This is it. This is home. Yeah. That's fair. So. Yeah, because like you could like you could really be a anywhere. terrible person though, too. You could be a thief and just rob places and then when you get thrown in jail, just snap your fingers and you're out. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't matter. Just find a place that you feel comfortable with, that you're happy and who knows? Find my soulmate that doesn't exist. <laughs> That's wild. Back in time. That's wild. Anyway, guys, this has been season two, episode fourteen. Thank you all so much for coming back and joining us Let's on go. our return. Uh, again, we are so happy that Skylo survived her surgery and she made it back. And we're 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 back in the grind here. We're, we're happy to be back. We're happy to see you guys. Let us know in our comments anywhere you listen to us at what you want us to talk about, what you want to what you want to know, any questions you may have for us. They may make it onto our viewer question segment. Uh, and keep an eye out on our social media, guys. Follow us on Twitter. We will post everything on there. Uh, we'll let you know when those live Q and A's are going to be that you can come to and hang out with us and uh, and get to know us personally because we don't really talk to the live chat during these shows much but we we want to we want to talk to you guys and we want to hear from you so please give us a follow on twitter we're uh, we're also on tiktok and uh you can come to my discord the jalopy discord and and there's uh not so common sense area in there uh anywhere that you want to uh, reach out to us please do uh email not so common sense nscs at gmail.com guys thank you so much for being here sky is there anything i'm missing before we head out other than a huge shout out to our sponsors again for uh being on board every week and uh and dealing with our craziness honestly no i'm just um i'm happy that i'm back i'm happy that everything went well um i'm just i'm gonna miss y'all i'm gonna miss y'all for another week we will but be back next Friday. We will be back next Friday. Uh, keep, like he said, keep in touch with our socials so you can see when we're going to be doing a special affiliate stream um, as a thank you to you guys for getting us to hit there. So mm-hmm. keep an eye out for all of that, and uh, we'll, we'll speak to you guys soon. Yeah. Uh, so next Friday, guys, be there or be circle. Until then, guys, one thing to always remember. Read the Read room. The room. Thank you.